Right, we're going to be looking at some more complex quadratic equations. So let's look at an example to see what we mean. So let's say we had 4x to the power 4 minus 37x squared plus 9 equals 0. Now, we've not looked at any quadratic equations where we've got raised to the power 4 before. But it looks very similar to the quadratic equations that we have been looking at. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with it and we're going to say let's make y equal to x squared. Now we can do that. Um, and we're going to substitute it in. So 4x to the power 4 will become 4y squared. And that's going to become minus 37y plus 9 equals 0. Now this just looks like what we've been solving. So let's solve it. So 0, so we're going to have, so we've got a 9 here. 9 times 1 makes 9. So if we were to times 4 times 9, that would be 36. Add 1 is would make 37, so that's what we've got here. So we can have two minuses make the positive. So we're going to have a 4y, and we times the 4y by the 9 to get the 36. Then we're going to have minus, that'll be minus 36. And we have minus 1y, which will add to the minus 36y to make minus 37. So we've now got 4y minus 1 equals 0. So y must be a quarter, or y must be... 9 from this. But y is x squared. So x squared must be a quarter. So if we take the square root, we're going to get plus or minus a half. Or x squared must be 9. So x must be plus or minus 3. So here we've got, so because it's a Q, it's to the base of 4, we're going to have four solutions for this quadratic equation. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this. 4, um, x, sorry, minus 4 is the root of x, square root of x, minus 12 equals 0. Now we're going to play the same trick. This time we're going to say x equals the square root, y equals the square root of x. So x would then become y squared because, because if we look here, y squared is going to equal x. Um, so we're going to have y squared minus 4 y minus 12 equals 0. And now we can just solve this as a quadratic equation. So we've got minus 12 and minus 4. So 6 times 2 is 12. So we can have y and a y minus 6 plus 2 is going to give us minus 4 equals 0. So y will have to be 6 or y will be minus 2. But y is the square root of x. is going to be 6. So x must be, if we square the square root of x with x, equals 36. And the square root of x would also be minus 2. But this cannot be a real solution. 
because the square root of something cannot, you can't get a negative square root unless you go into um, imaginary numbers, which we're not doing. So the only solution to this is 36. Let's do another one. Let's think 3 times 9 raised to the power x minus 28 3 raised to the power x plus 9 equals 0. Now this is far a bit more challenging. But we can have a look and um, let's think, let's make y equal to three power x. Now Here, therefore, 9 to the power x would be is the same as 3 to the power x squared. So we've got, we're going to have 3y squared because 3x, 3 to the power x x squared is going to be 9 power x minus 28y plus 9 equals 0. Um, so factorising that we will have oh, like 9 is 1 and 9, 3 times 9 is 27, 27 plus 1, 28 but that's minus a, so it's just minus and a minus, so 9 here, 3y here, we will have 1 here and a y here, equal 0. So here we've got 3y minus 1 equals 0, so y must be a third or y must equal 9. But y is 3 raised to the power x equals a third. So what so that means x must be minus 1 because um, x to the minus 1 is the same as a third. And here we've got 3 to the power x equals 9. What do we raise 3 by to get 9? x must be 2 because 3 squared is 9. So these are the two solutions to this equation. I hope that helps.